Well, we start off Raiders Sports Report and go right to Wellesley High School for the annual boys and girls doubleheader matchup against their neighboring rivals, the Natick Red Hawks. Tipping off first would be the girls as the Raiders move the ball well as a team here in the first quarter. With Lexi Jones dishing it to Caroline Sullivan in the paint and then Jones draining a fast break three to make it 7-2 Wellesley in the opening minutes. But to close out the quarter, Natick finally is able to get more shots to fall. And after Aileen Morley McLaughlin banks it off glass, 9-8 Raiders to end the first. Second quarter, Raiders on top 15-9 with baskets by Dorian Cohen and Emma Ivey. A tight defensive matchup continues as Natick claws their way back into the game. And after this Wellesley miss, Red Hawks Emma Lagan with a great feed. Passes it up ahead to try captain Justine Gaziano, who lays it in easily. And the Red Hawks take the lead for the first time. And Wellesley has to regroup by calling a timeout. 18-17, Natick. But Lexi Jones takes charge after the timeout and scores the next five points in the game, including this nice move at the top of the key that allows Jones separation and gets points in the paint. Raiders are back on top, leading at halftime 22-18. to On to the second half and hits a good one with multiple lead changes and ties. Red Hawks' Emily Wickles nails a three-pointer to lock us even at 22. After Katie Williamson connects from downtown, making it 29-28 Wellesley, Red Hawks just go right down court with a tray of their own, as Emily Wickles again from the perimeter puts Natick back on top, 31-29. Fast forward to an exciting final frame as it's still anyone's game. With Wellesley's big, Dorian Cohen taking and making a huge three-pointer. And a key steal by Kelsey Zarley, who takes it coast-to-coast -coast for an unassisted layup. And 35-34, Red Hawks. Natick stays hot on the perimeter as Justine Gaziano connects on another three. 38-34, Natick. But clutch Dorian Cohen answers on the baseline for two more. As it's clear with this close score of 38-36 Natick, this game will go down to the wire for these two teams. Co-captains Catherine McNamara and Lexi Jones provide a spark late in the fourth, and McNamara just coming off the bench nails the baseline jumper. And Lexi Jones drives in the lane to momentarily put the Raiders back up 42-41. With 24 seconds left, Wellesley is down by one, and Katie Williamson makes a key pass inside to Dorian Cohen. But her try hits the back rim a little too hard, and Natick gets the rebound. So now it's 46-44 Red Hawks, and 7.2 seconds are on the clock. Freshman Kelsey Zarley brings the ball up court, but unfortunately travels the ball. With the turnover, Raiders have to foul, and Natick gets two more at the charity line. Wellesley loses a tough one here in the final seconds as the Red Hawks take the opener 48 to 44 over Wellesley as Raiders fall to 7 and 3 on the season. While the girls battled in a tight defensive matchup, the same could not be said for the boys. With Natick having lost key starters who graduated last year, now looking like a very young and inexperienced team and Wellesley quickly took advantage of that. Jack Dolman on this play, very aggressive with a crossover move, drives to the basket for two, and it's quickly an 11-3 lead for the Raiders. Natick Zach Leibowitz pulls up for the downtown jumper, making it now 11-6. Wellesley still with the lead, calls the timeout to stop the momentum, and it works as Raiders keep that offensive up-tempo play going and close out the first on top, 19-10. With Wellesley finding ways to score in the paint and on the perimeter, moving the ball aggressively, Wellesley's 37-14 halftime lead just explodes even more in the third. Winata can't do anything from stopping Raiders from scoring, even knocking out their own teammates in the process. From the paint, Aaron Arbeely dishes it to Jake Moen. Then it's Moen with the assist to Ryan Kruger. Natick is forced to take a timeout to somehow stop the bleeding. Down 43-17, it's looking highly unlikely. One of the few bright spots for Natick in this matchup, though, is the play of Zach Leibowitz, whose multiple threes don't necessarily make a dent to the huge deficit, but the individual effort shown by Leibowitz does not go overlooked. Now leading 48-25 after three played here in Wellesley. With such a big lead for the Raiders, it's nice to see bench players earn some hard-earned minutes on the court. And for this game, it was Ryan Kruger, Jake Moen, and Miles Cole here on a terrific start step move in the lane that shines through. And after a Brian Criante buzzer beater brings an outstanding end to the third, Wellesley holds a commanding 57-25 advantage over their rivals. And as the final frame breezes by, fan favorite Sam Zimmerman brings a ton of energy, getting some great looks at the basket and scores eight points in the quarter, helping the Raiders lead to blow up to a score of 71-36. to Wellesley wins this one convincingly by the final. Wellesley 73, Natick 41, and Raiders improved to 6-4.
And the Wellesley Natick weekend continues late Saturday night as it's now boys hockey's turn to face the Red Hawks, a very young team in the Hergut division, and also in second place behind the Raiders at 4-1-3. and three. Just past the seven-minute mark in the opening period, Zach Doughty steals the puck, taking the initial shot. The puck deflects off Connor Morton's stick and into the net. Morton puts the Raiders on the scoreboard first as Wellesley brings a one-goal lead into the second. So here in the middle period, Wellesley breaks it open as Ethan Murphy crosses the red line, passes ahead to Carter Huff, and Huff with an outstanding move dekes around a defender, top shelves it in for a fantastic goal and a 2-0 Raider lead. And the next outstanding score comes here with Matt Kerrigan on his stomach. Still finds a way to pass the puck to Tyler Capecci, whose first try gets denied, but still on the doorstep, punches in the rebound, and that goal gets the home crowd and Capecci pumped up. Raiders now hold a commanding 3 0 advantage over Natick. Can't say enough how fantastic and reliable goalie Jack Maxwell is between the pipes for Wellesley every game. And for this matchup, just denying Red Hawks shots time and again. Case in point, after two more scores by Cutter Huff and Rustin Keane makes it 5 0. We go to a Natick power play. Right off the faceoff, Trevor Kaplan passes to Robbie Peeney, but Maxwell's sprawling pad save denies it. Natick still with chances as right off that save, Red Hawks hold possession still. Colin Montgomery's centering pass goes right to Trevor Kaplan, and his one timer gets rejected. The rebound goes right to Andrew Carr, and he can't get it past Maxwell either. And so time runs out here for the Red Hawks. And after coming off their only loss in the season at Milton, it's a solid 5-0 victory for the Raiders as they earn their ninth win, their fifth one coming by a Jack Maxwell shutout. Well, that wraps up another episode of Raiders Sports Report. Thanks for watching. Catch up on all Raiders highlights right here on demand at wellesleymedia.org, our YouTube channel, and as always on Comcast 9 and Verizon 39.